let me transfer you. Switch to Farm Bureau Insurance today and get real service instead of getting really tangled up. For auto, home, life, and health, get the membership advantage. Get Farm Bureau Insurance. Just wanted to come out and keep fighting um, at halftime, and you know those guys are just overpowering us, getting to every loose ball, out rebounding us, being more physical, getting to the line, getting the calls because they were being aggressive, more aggressive than us, and that's kind of how it's been the last two times we played them. And you know I think it's been more like, well, Richmond's they're skilled and they got some guys who can play, but all you got to do is jump over their backs at the end of the day and you can put them away. So um, we knew that going in. And, um, you know, at halftime we just decided to, you know, just grit our teeth and over overcome this. Um, and, you know, we know that we had to be the aggressor and we had to fight and we had to stop complaining. And, um, you know, we had to find the strength within, these, within uh, ourselves. So... Um, I think that's what changed, you know, our mindset going into the second half. And even though we didn't get the lead until late, you know, I think we fought a lot harder the entire second half. And, you know, we just didn't see the – really didn't see the fruit until late. But um, thank God it wasn't too late, you know. Nah, I don't think, I don't think so. I don't think so. Um, you know, it was, it was cool seeing my mom and my family before the game. That was awesome. Kind of softened my heart a little bit, you know. Uh, but other than that, I mean, it's just another, it's another tough game. I mean, you can't be worried about senior night when you're playing Dayton at home. It's the last home game. You're trying to get into the tournament, and so are they. This is desperation for them. We knew they were going to come out hard, and they beat us the last two times we played them. So um, we try to put that stuff in the back of our minds and just go out there and play hard, a hard, tough game. We knew it was going to be tough. I mean, like Dave said, you know, you just, I mean, this is a big-time game coming off a loss. You know, we need to get back on the right track. And I think that in order to do that, we would need to, you know, if, like, obviously, there's a lot of emotion from like you know, pe people want you to win, want you to go out on senior night. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, we just we just wanted to go out and win the game. So um, whether maybe whether it showed up in the first half a little bit, you know, we kind of lost our composure, I think, a little bit. Um, you know, but the second I mean, at halftime, you know, we talked about you know, like like Dave said, forgetting all that. You know, keep our cool. You know, got to play even tougher if we're going to try to get these rebounds. And I think that's what showed up in the second half. It's awesome, you know. Um, it was ugly out there, you know. We, we didn't we didn't think we played, you know, as well. We didn't shoot the ball well. Uh, at times we didn't guard well, but you know we still came out with a win, and I think that you know it shows a lot about us. We've we've won in all sorts of different ways. Um, you know we've had you know big wins, close wins, and you know to gut this one out at, at home, you know, just shows uh, all the different ways we can f find a way to win. Man, he's a really tough player. Um, you know, he, he doesn't get as many minutes as we, we would like him to just because, of the, the, you know, we're so deep. We think he's going to play a lot more next year. Um, that's what one thing Coach says about him. You know, he wishes that Frank can play the whole game because that would be the best for him. But when he, when he does come in, he tries to give us whatever he can, and he can, um, he can give us so much. He came in and got some big steals. We call him a ninja because he has um, – he just has great instincts. I mean, cat-like reflexes. And, I mean, some of the steals that he got, I mean, he stole the ball from, you know, some of Dayton's quickest guards, just straight up picked them at crucial times in the game. I mean, I think we were up one, and he just picked the guy late in the game. And then some of the rebounds he went and grabbed, monster rebounds. And um, some of the points in the game, it was like, thank God he's on our team. You know what I mean? Um, so, you know, we think that he can crash the boards just as well as any anyone else um, we've seen. And, you know, he just came in with an aggressive mindset and just brought whatever he could to win. So, I mean, like you said, you know, it may not have showed up on the stat sheet, but his intangibles, um, without him, we wouldn't have won today. De definitely wouldn't have. Yeah, we definitely addressed it. Uh, I, when we were going into the locker room, Coach, uh, one of our assistant coaches, uh, Coach Brunt, he just mentioned, man, we got to stop complaining. You know, we got to talk about that in the locker room when, when we were all talking. Um, and, you know, we, we were complaining in the first half. You want to win so bad and every call means so much and you want to just, you know, you want to get every call. And, I mean, it's so every point in the game is so crucial, you know. Um, so, anyway, going into halftime, we knew we were complaining. We know that's not going to help us. And it kind of shows, you know, that, that we're not mentally tough when we are complaining because it's about Richmond versus Dayton, not about Richmond versus the refs. So, um that's just a part of being tough, and I think you know we showed that coming out in the second half. Well, uh, one of the things Coach said right after the game is that there are two teams that beat us the last time they played us in the Atlantic 10, and 
uh, that we've noticed last game, last weekend against Xavier, and then we lost you know this home game against Charlotte. <coughs> that's our only home loss this year. So um, we're going to go into the mindset that we want to you know we want to go out and get a win there and on their senior night. We want to we want to prove to them that we're the better team and uh, um, at least uh, continue our momentum going into the Atlantic Ten tournament. Hopes to win that. I just knew I knew we were going to come back and win this game somehow because the way we were fighting. You know, we were down six, and then we would get a stop. Maybe they would, we would foul, and they would hit a, two free throws, and then we would hit a three, and then Harper would, you know, go off for three threes. I just, I mean, we were on their tails, and I could kind of feel it, and I knew we were fighting, so I didn't know when, when we were going to take the lead or when, but, I, you know, I knew our guys would come out with it, um, you know, at, at the end. Uh, and, I mean, guys just hit big shots, man. Harper bangs three threes in a row. Um, you know, K making nine out of ten free throws in the second half. I mean, just, you know, guys just hitting big shots, and it's amazing. So um, I think just our will showed up in the second half. You know, whether you make shots, you miss them, rebounds still, they, will, our will just showed up, you know. When you guys fought so hard, you know, we, we were getting stops, and, you know, they, we would give up a three, and then we'd go down, and we'd have to fight back and claw back to four and three, mm -hmm. two. And then once we take that lead, <coughs> You know, I know me and Dave look at each other, and you know we try to get all these other guys to realize that, you know, a couple more stops, a stop here, a stop there, and a defensive rebound, and this game is ours. Yeah. So I mean, I, I would say that uh, mentally, we we want to, we think that our defense is going to be there for us, um, especially once we took the lead. It's frustrating because we thought we played good team. Um, I know Dave's laughing because he, I mean, it was exactly what you said. I mean, they were just they were just going up and getting it, but. We, I mean, we we're sitting, you know, we're guarding them. They, you know, they <coughs> missing shots, and we just can't get the offensive rebound. And you know, they're getting stickbacks, and it's frustrating. It, it gets extremely frustrating. But the only thing you can do is continue to try to get stops and hope you get the rebound because you can't change. He's <laughs> still out. All you can do is keep fighting. Yeah. Well, what are you gonna do? Chris doing. Wright is jumping 15 feet in the air for rebounds. What are you gonna do? Just we gotta, just gotta keep fighting. Just keep fighting. Fighting. We're we're gonna, the next we know we're gonna get stops. <laughs> You just gotta keep fighting on the on the glass and try to get the rebound.